We all know that floating is super relaxing, but do you know why? Let's take a look. Your body uses chemical substances, known as neurotransmitters, to send information from the nervous system to the brain, which in turn sends instructions throughout your body. Float therapy impacts three neurotransmitters specifically, dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins. Floating also has an effect on the hormone cortisol. Let's learn a little bit more about what each of these chemicals does and what they have to do with getting salty. Dopamine is the feel-good chemical. It's pleasurable and rewarding, and it often motivates us to repeat behavior in order to get another feel-good hit. Dopamine is released when you're eating your favorite foods or when your team wins the big game and even when you get a little ding from social media. In fact, dopamine feels so good, we can even become addicted to whatever causes its release. Okay, let's move our attention to the next neurotransmitter, serotonin. It's often thought of as the happiness chemical, but it's actually responsible for a lot more than just happiness. Most of the body's serotonin is actually found in the GI tract, it regulates bowel functions and reduces the appetite while you eat. And if you eat something that doesn't sit well, your gut produces even more serotonin to cause nausea to get rid of the offender. Serotonin works its magic in your brain to impact mood, anxiety, and happiness. Some prescription and even illegal drugs are designed to mimic the body's natural production process. Some medical professionals even believe serotonin is linked to bone density. One of the most important things to note is that low levels of serotonin are often linked to depression and anxiety. And coming back to the last neurotransmitter, what do endorphins do? Endorphins correspond with the brain to reduce feelings of pain and discomfort. They basically work like a natural morphine injection. You can increase your endorphins by practicing yoga dancing, getting out in nature, or meditating. All right, one more. Let's talk about cortisol. It's the stress hormone that's responsible for a wide range of processes throughout the body, including metabolism and the immune response and physiological reactions like fight or flight. Cortisol levels increase in stressful situations like a demanding day at work, when you're stuck in traffic, and life and death situations like unexpected encounters with wild animals. And the thing is, when you continue to pile on the stressful situations, it really starts to take a toll on your health. You feel overwhelmed, exhausted, and your immune system begins to break down, all because of cortisol. So. How does floating help? Well, because of its unique environment with reduced sensory distractions and complete support of your body, it actually increases production and release of all of those good neurotransmitters and it decreases cortisol levels. So the next time you have a chance to step into a float tank, rest assured that you're making a decision to take care of your body, mind, and spirit by tapping into your body's natural healing networks. We invite you to experience this joy firsthand by visiting Sukino Float Center in Salt Cave. We're located at 802 East Market Street in Midtown, New Albany, Indiana. You can find more information and schedule your appointment at www.sukinofloatcenter.com.